Coming up in this video, I'm going to be discussing some new details about the Tesla Semi, the mega charger network that Tesla is building out to support the Tesla Semi. And also with all this new information, I've put all the pieces together and it sure appears to confirm ultra fast charging speeds for the 4680 batteries that will be found in the Tesla Semi. So without further ado, let's dive in. Nestled within Tesla's 2020 impact report, I found the following updated information on the Tesla Semi. With both the US and the EU having approved higher weight allowances for electric heavy duty trucks, we expect the payload to be at least as high as it would be for a diesel truck. In the EU, electric semi trucks are allowed to be two tons or 4,400 pounds heavier than diesel equivalents. And in the US, the allowance is 0.9 tons or 2,000 pounds. When fully loaded, the Tesla Semi should be able to achieve over 500 miles of range, achieved through aerodynamics and highly efficient motors. This truck will be able to reach an efficiency of over 0.5 miles per kilowatt hour. So this is actually really big news that Tesla has officially confirmed that the Semi, the Tesla Semi, will be able to haul just as much cargo as a typical diesel Semi. This is actually really important for the practicality of the Tesla Semi. The maximum gross weight for a fully loaded semi on US roads is 80,000 pounds. So every extra pound that a truck weighs subtracts from the cargo weight that can be added to the truck to still stay below the maximum weight limits. Without the 4680 batteries and the structural battery pack that will be found in the Tesla Semi, this would not be possible due to the added weight of less energy dense battery packs. For instance, a truck with 2170 batteries that could carry less cargo weight would not be as practical, but the Tesla Semi with 4680 batteries will apparently not have this problem and will be able to haul just as much as a regular diesel Semi. Now, while that's really important news, that's really not the main topic that I wanna talk about in this video. The main topic that I wanna talk about is charging, the charging network, the mega charger network, and also charging speed. Even if the Tesla Semi can haul the same amount of cargo as a traditional Semi, if it takes forever to charge and this slows down the time it takes to get back on the road, this would definitely limit the Semi's practicality as well. In order for the Tesla Semi to truly be practical when Tesla starts delivering these sometime apparently in 2022, they're going to need a very massive charging network or mega charger network to support these Semis. Here's an update about the mega charger network that Tesla gave in their 2020 impact report. We are in the process of developing a mega charger network at trucking rest stops across the US and Europe, where each Tesla Semi could top up their range. Also, here's what Elon had to say at the Semi reveal event about the mega charger network that they are working to develop for the Semi. Um, and what a lot of people don't realize is, is it actually t it takes up to 15 minutes or more to actually fill a, a, a truck. You have to sit there for 15 minutes while the, the tank gets filled. As compared to charging a, a, a Tesla truck, you can charge at your origin or destination. So while, while you're unloading your cargo, you can charge. So the, 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 reason, the, reason, the reason 400 miles is important is because you, ha you, you have to take a break eventually. So, so if, if, you, if you drive for if you drive for five or six hours, which is a, that's about as much as you want to be driving continuously, because you have to stop for a bathroom break, go, get a bite to eat. Um, in fact, you're legally required to stop for 30 minutes. By the time you are, you're done with your break, the, the truck is ready to go. You will not be waiting for your truck to charge. It's a big deal. And because of the Tesla mega chargers that will be installed in worldwide, just like we've got superchargers installed worldwide, if you've seen the supercharger map, it started off with just a few, super, with just a few chargers in California. Now we have uh, superchargers out, uh, throughout the world. And you'll be able to go anywhere uh, in, with a, a Tesla uh, consumer vehicle. The same will be true of the Tesla Semi. You'll be able to travel anywhere in the world on the Tesla mega charger network. 
Notice that Elon mentioned that the Tesla Semi should be able to gain around 400 miles of driving range in simply a 30 minute charge. And while this is impressive on its own, it also reveals some exciting details about how powerful the mega chargers will be and also how impressive when it comes to charging speeds this 4680 battery technology will be. In order for the Tesla Semi to charge this quickly, these mega chargers are going to have to be very powerful. And we'll talk about my estimates for that in just a minute. But also on the other side, the battery technology, the 4680 battery cells are going to have to accept a very high rate of charge in order to charge this quickly as well. This reveals some very exciting details that I want to dive into. We can piece together some pretty accurate estimates from Elon Musk's past comments and some new details from the 2020 Tesla Impact Report to determine just how much power these mega chargers will put out, how big the Tesla Semi battery will be, and how efficient it will be in terms of electricity consumption per mile traveled. Once we have this information, we can use that to estimate just how impressive the charging performance of the 4680 batteries must be. The first piece of data that we need is the energy consumption numbers or the efficiency of the Tesla Semi, which will help us to determine the battery size of the Semi. We know the Tesla Semi will come in two variants, one with a roughly 300 mile range and a second version with a 500 mile range. Remember too that as Elon Musk showed at the Semi reveal event and also as they confirmed in the most recent 2020 impact report, these range estimates are for a truck that is at maximum payload, not an empty truck. Although the Tesla Semi is extremely aerodynamic and should have an impressively low coefficient of drag of just 0.36, hauling a full load with a combined truck weight of around 80,000 pounds will consume quite a bit of energy, so the Tesla Semi is going to need a seriously large battery pack in either version. Once again, going back to Tesla's 2020 impact report, remember they said the following about the Tesla Semi's efficiency. When fully loaded, the Tesla Semi should be able to achieve over 500 miles of range, achieved through aerodynamics and highly efficient motors. The truck will be able to reach an efficiency of over 0.5 miles per kilowatt hour. So if we do a little math and the Tesla Semi uses roughly two kilowatt hours for every mile traveled at maximum load, this would equate to roughly a 600 kilowatt hour pack for the 300 mile range version and a 1000 kilowatt hour pack for the 500 mile range version. However, as Electrek reported in a February 2021 article, Elon Musk mentioned concerning the Tesla Semi, you want something in order of probably a 500 kilowatt hour pack. What we have in the Model S and X is a 100 kilowatt hour pack and probably something like a 500 kilowatt hour pack in the Tesla Semi. So if the 300 mile range Tesla Semi has a battery size of around 500 kilowatt hours as Elon Musk mentioned, then the 500 mile range version must have a battery pack somewhere between 850 kilowatt hours and 900 kilowatt hours. So for simplicity, we're going to go ahead and round up to 900 kilowatt hours for the battery pack size of the 500 mile Semi. Now that we have some good approximations of the Tesla Semi battery sizes, let's take a look at the kind of power output that will be needed from the mega chargers in order to charge the Tesla Semi so quickly, adding 400 miles of range in just simply 30 minutes of charging. First of all, when you look at the miles added per minute of charging for the Tesla Semi and compare this, you can see just how impressive these numbers really are. However, when you take this a step further and you realize that even though the Tesla Semi is going to be very aerodynamic, it's still going to consume quite a bit of energy per mile traveled. So really, in order to better appreciate how much power these batteries will be able to accept and how much power the mega chargers are going to put out, you need to take a look at how much battery capacity is filled and how many kilowatts are being put out by these chargers during this charging session. In order to estimate how many kilowatt hours would be added to the battery packs in our charging estimates, you need to know the underlying efficiency of each one of these electric vehicles. As you can see on this chart, I have done some quick math to get an estimate of just how many miles these EVs can travel per kilowatt hour of battery capacity. 
With these efficiency estimates, we can plug these into our charging estimates and we see that the Tesla Semi should be able to gain over 700 kilowatt hours of battery capacity in a 30 minute charge. And this is over 10 times what is gained in the new Model S per minute of charging. When it comes to charging the Tesla Semi battery pack, obviously a V3 supercharger is not going to do it. It would take forever to charge the Tesla Semi on even a very fast V3 supercharger. So I estimate that these mega chargers that Tesla is building must be able to put somewhere around 1.5 megawatts out when it comes to charging power. Instead of kilowatts, it's going to be somewhere around 1.5 megawatts or even greater. It then seems with this kind of power output from the mega chargers that I don't see a way that the Tesla Semi's battery pack could be a 400 volt architecture, but it must be based on something maybe even greater than an 800 volt architecture because this would definitely simplify and make these kind of charging speeds possible. Now this kind of power output from a mega charger is going to be very impressive. But even more impressive is the fact that the 4680 batteries will have to accept a very high rate of charge as well. I believe this shows just how impressive the charging performance may be from the 4680 batteries because normally this kind of charging power would damage a battery cell. I recently put out a video that I definitely recommend that you watch if you have not already where I do a deep dive into how the tablet's design of the 4680 batteries massively improves the thermal qualities of the new batteries, which allows for a high rate of charge. I'll put a link to this video in the description and I definitely recommend you check it out. But when you understand just how superior the heat dissipation qualities and also the lower joule heating that will be created during charging and discharging for these 4680 batteries, it does seem to make these kind of charging speeds seem possible. Now I do want to point out that although I expect the Tesla Semi to have an 800 plus volt architecture, an 800 plus volt battery system, I don't believe that Tesla's other vehicles like the Model Y 2.0, the Cybertruck, etc., will necessarily have an 800 volt battery pack setup. I believe they're going to stick with the roughly 400 volt setup that they have now. However, even though a 400 volt system with 4680 batteries would charge slower than what we've described, I believe, with the Tesla Semi's charging speeds, I still believe that the charging speeds for the 4680 batteries in the Model Y 2.0 and also the Cybertruck will be very impressive and I'm very excited to see what kind of charging speeds we get when these vehicles come out. So let me know what you think about my conclusions and my estimates. Do you think I missed something? Also, how fast do you think the Model Y 2.0 and also the Cybertruck will be able to charge? Well, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I did want to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much.